some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Morgan County, Alabama with uh, Mick Rusty and wife, the team of Lana and Rusty Boy, as they go annoy the local district attorney's office and uh, Rusty Boy gets his camera touched and he just wants to whine, cry, and complain about the whole thing. Oh boy, what a moron. And these two like to pretend that they're journalists. Well, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you two what actual journalists do. And it's a far, far cry from what you uh, particular knuckleheads like to sh think is journalism. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. GT and the J-Town Press went hot in Morgan County, Alabama at the courthouse. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, to include, smash that notification bell right quick, fast, and in a hurry. Poking around in public with a camera to see where your tax dollars are going could have you threatened with jail for trespassing. Simply existing in a public space documenting how your tax dollars are spent may get physical from the DA's office. Oh, that's such a unique lie coming from a Rusty Boy right here. Simply existing in that environment will get you trespassed. Oh, Rusty Boy, it's not that you simply exist in that environment. It's that you fail to follow the policies that are put in place because of security reasons and other issues because this is a freaking courthouse, dude. It is not a public forum. There were some very professional and polite staff, including deputies as well. Shout out to the Morgan County Sheriff's Office. Shame on you, Morgan County DA's Office. Let's check out the Morgan County Courthouse. What do you want to do with this thing here? Just walk down, walk through, and then set it down, or put it down or whatever, and then walk down through by yourself. What do they do? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, you're good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Just in the public area. We're not walking back in the private areas. That says, we are people on the team of the lawyer. Oh, look. Look at that. They got picked. Look at that. That was just the state office. That's why. Wow. Got that there. Oh, that little scale like that. Hey. I love that beautiful American flag. Woo. Good morning, how are y'all? Good, good, and you? Oh, no, I'm taking some video and pictures. We got some. All right. Oh, Taking pictures and video. Oh, Okay. That's all. Oh, Like news, pur what? news purposes and like me. Yeah, dude, I wouldn't call what you do news. I mean, uh... Have you seen what actual journalists do? I mean, I put up a couple videos this past uh, week or so of uh, what actual journalists do, and it is a far cry from what you idiots like to do. In fact, I've decided that I'm going to start a little series on this channel uh, that I will think I will call Real Press, Fake Press, where I expose the differences between what the real press does, actual journalists, and what you do. And I'm going to make it a weekly thing, you know, to expose uh, what you guys actually are uh, as opposed to the real press, because the real press actually tries to go out and help people, unlike what you guys do, which is try to harm, hurt, antagonize, and just outright destroy people's lives. What do you mean, news Like freedom of the press? I don't want my picture. Oh, I already took it. I'm sorry. Uh, Ma'am? Oh, I'm just you. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, what? Uh, well, I, I couldn't hear you. What was that, ma'am? I can't hear you. You have a badge? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, look. Right there. Do you like this? That's me. Okay, but I have a right not to. 
No, no, you don't. Huh? Yeah. It's uh, called, uh, the case law is actually called Smith v. City of Cumming. Yeah, it actually gives us this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Alana, uh, that doesn't uh, pertain to this particular situation right here, considering that case was about filming police, and it's still beholden to time, place, and manner restrictions. And so basically that means you can still be trespassed out of this building if you cause any problems. And I know you don't believe in trespassing laws, but they still exist no matter how many times you've been trespassed out of any building, dumbass. Uh, sorry, Hey, can they do something? Oh, no, sir. I'm just taking some pictures and video. For what? Just like news, media, stuff like that. Not in here, you're not. Oh, sir, it's a public lobby, of course. No, sir, can. you're out of here. No, no, there's signs all over the courthouse say cameras can't be used. Oh, yeah, not in the courtroom. And not in our office either, without uh, the DA's permission, and he's not here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm not trying to access the restricted area. Be, but you were taking pictures of all our stuff? Oh, yeah, here. I'm checking out the pamphlets and stuff. Okay, sir. That's what I was sir. doing, like, what's the... Uh, the stuff right I've here. And hey, sir, you, don't touch me. I have told you to leave our why office. Why would you do this to me? Leave our office without permission of the DA. You're not going to be filming well, anything. What about the picture? You want me to take the camera away from you? No, sir. That'd be stealing. Then you need to leave our office right now and put you in jail for trespassing. Why? Now. Why would you do this, sir? Because I have the authority to. Now, get no, you don't. No, you don't, sir. Let's go. Out. Why would you do this? Out. Rusty boy, why do you act like this is the first time this has happened to you? I mean, I've seen dozens of videos of you getting trespassed, and every single time you act like it's the first time that this has ever happened to you. Oh my goodness gracious, my dear, I'm gonna faint. I feel faint that you're gonna trespass me out of this building because... The judges are uh, tyrants who uh, respect people's rights to privacy, especially uh, attorney-client privilege and everything like that. Oh, my. Oh, my. You guys are such tyrants. Why would you do this? Y'all are garbage. I'll secure it. Sir, what's the problem? You're the problem. Why? You're filming activities going on. These people are, are here taking care of official business, and you've got them on video. They don't want... I'm not here for it. their official business. But you're taking pictures while they're in there, and they said they don't want to be on camera. Well, I'm not here for them. I'm here, I'm, I'm here for news media. Which media do y'all represent? Myself. Okay. Y'all can take this outside. No, sir. I'm in a public area. You, you didn't have to touch me in there, sir. Well, I didn't touch you. I touched your camera. That's an extension of me, sir. I hate it. Oh, Rusty Boy, he assaulted you. He touched you. Can you point out on this camera on screen as to where he touched you, you little whiny crybaby? I mean, can you show us where the mean old district attorney man touched you on your pathetic little camera? That way we can uh, soothe that butthurt little attitude of yours. Sir, why, why are you being this way? Because I don't like people coming into our office without permission. Your office building. is the people's office. You no, threatened to, district attorney's you office. Threaten to throw me in jail for doing a news story. For trespassing. Now, but how do you trespass me from public without commission of a crime, sir? Security's on the way up here. You oh, can yeah. deal with them. Yeah, sure, sure. You're garbage, dude. Well, come on now, dude. That argument is about as out of shape as you are. It's time you abandoned it and uh, went for something else because, well, uh, dude, uh, it doesn't actually work in the real world considering the actual trespassing statutes don't have anything in them that saying that you have to commit a crime to be trespassed, you freaking moron. Trespassing. I guess we can go back in. Yeah. Is your okay, whatever you do, can you not put my face on there? I don't care what y'all got going on with them, but turn that camera that way. Because I'm not going to be as nice as them. I'm going to take it there with you. 
Or don't have my face on it. I'm listening to you, baby. Mm. Step out, please. I'm asking you not to have my face on there. Step out, please. No, ma'am, you I'm are not. I'm gathering public information. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I was just grabbing some business cards. And, and you've done that, so you can leave. Yeah, now. and I'm actually going to do a public record request. I'm going to wait my turn after she's done. Okay, but can you turn that camera that way? Because you put my face on there a few times. Can you please turn it that way? I'm asking you nicely. I'm pointing toward him right now. Right now, but earlier you would, had it right he here. Would move out of my way, and then you had it. I don't care what you're doing, but I'm asking you I'm right now what I'm discussing public. as far as leaving. I need you to here. go that way because he's being nice to you. I'm not going to be nice to you. Well, so I'm going to take assault. it all the way there. Well, that that's a crime. That's why. But can yeah. you turn that camera that way? Well, you're, you're can you turn that right camera now. that way? But you're, can you turn that camera that way? You're creating. You're creating. You're creating a disturbance here. Out now. Get them out of here. Do this. Sir, I would like service. I'm We're sitting here dealing with a whole system. Make an appointment. Right Let's here. go. Out. I was this gathering business. This has nothing to do with you guys. This is not legal. Get them out of here. Sir, I'm in a public lobby. I'm trying to get service. And he's just recording anybody. us while we're discussing They're a whole public case right now. They're causing the disturbance, not me. Because so, you're like, recording was, people that's actually... I'm asking you not to put to my face on there. It's a public lobby. I was trying to get service. All right, well, let's step right over here and talk about it real quick, at least, so let them do their thing. Well, I'd like to right right sit down. My leg hurts. I just had Listen, to Listen, she already right did, you know, when they was in the back, and huh, I'm going to be honest with y'all. When they went to the back to give me the paperwork, right him and her was in here for a good four or five minutes. She came over and she recorded that. She recorded that. She recorded behind their desk. She recorded everything when they were in the back. So she don't need nothing else from right here because she was in here when they went to go help me out. And as soon as you're done, I'm going to get public service and public records Okay. And that's what I'm saying. Like this is legal. Take her in private. It's a public. And then I asked them where they were from. They said they were from the news company. They lied and said they were from the news company. Public records. What they say. Okay. I'll talk to. It's a public body now. Lord, it's like the rest of the Lord, my nerves is bad. I'm trying to get this done so I can get to my my baby awards here. Johnny wants them out of here. They've been in here for a whole five yeah, minutes that, before they so, even came so back out. I one. promise you, they recorded behind here, Absolutely. they recorded right they there, they, they recorded right there, and they right recorded right there. Right there. They, everything that she's trying to say right now, they already came in here and recorded. When I asked them who they was, when they yeah, had the camera story, me and my mother law I'm trying to conduct something legal and that they have to talk to me about it. Who's the supervisor here? Hmm? Which one's a supervisor? Or, 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 okay, talk to you out here really quick, sir, because that's all that's going on really fast. Um, sir, I'm sure that the Morgan County Sheriff's Office doesn't violate the rights of the people. Oh, oh, now there he goes. He goes on about crying about rights being violated. Uh, dude, you have never had your rights violated. You've been lawfully trespassed every single time because you have no business in a lot of those areas that you uh, go into. For example, that time you tried to audit a junkyard. Why the hell would you want to go to the back of it a lot and uh, take uh, pictures of the garbage? I mean, come on now, Rusty boy. You're just there to cause problems. I don't do that. This is a public lobby that provides public services. If they're talking about private stuff, they should go in the back because there's no reasonable expectation of privacy while in public. I was in here looking at pamphlets, getting some information about the DA's office. I'm working on a news story, which is a protected activity guaranteed under the First Amendment to every American. So removing us out of a public space, that would be a no-no. And I don't think y'all are going to do that because I haven't done anything but been very polite and professional. And then the gentleman in there that wants us out grabbed his hand and put it on my camera and trying to push me out of here. So um, I'm very peaceful and polite. I'm not causing any problems or anything. I just want to be able to record in public freely without being my rights being trampled all over. Okay. I mean, y'all can do what y'all want to do, of course, but just just, just remember, y'all swore an oath and everything, and y'all do have an elective sheriff and everything that y'all work for and okay. that supports the rights of the people. Now, going in the back, like in the back past the other door in the restricted area, I know I can't go back there. I've never tried to gain access to that, but I'm walking into a public lobby that, can, that provides services to people and everything, so I'm not trying to make a problem. I'm not trying to make a problem with y'all or anything, but... I've been just like this the whole time. I'm, I'm really calm and I'm a peaceful person. And I don't want no problems or anything. Oh, how you doing, sir? Hey, uh, it's a nice speech, but you're still not coming in. Well, I'm gonna actually 
gonna do a uh, do a little B roll a little bit. Yeah, Tom Place Manor. As soon as the office closes, that is uh, four o'clock, sixteen hundred or whatever time. <laughs> So I'm like, I, I don't know, like, what, like, what's the process or like, what's the thing? Because I just kind of want to be left alone in the public areas. I'm not going in the courtroom or nothing. Yeah, I just want to be kind of left alone in the public areas and everything. So, I mean, I think the other lady in there had threatened her. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know what that's all about. But, but merely, I don't think. I can be trespassed from a public space just for merely existing with a camera and not causing a problem because whatever happens with somebody else because I'm holding the camera. I just want to know. I'm not refusing to leave. So okay, so I just want to go back in here and get some of my stuff too. Thank y'all yeah. so much, sir. If you're, I really if appreciate you're it. Trespassing. Y'all are going to learn. Y'all are going to learn. What are we going to learn? You're going to learn that your feelings do not supersede the rights of the people. Man, oh man, uh, these frauditors, they're nothing but a bunch of tyrants the way they uh, bully people around and everything like that. You're going to learn today. You're going to all going to learn. You're going to learn that I'm right and you're wrong. And you're going to bow down and lick my boots because, well, they need to be shined up real nice. And you look like you're the kind of person that will do that just fine. And guess what? You're going to like it. The other gentleman. The other gentleman. Ma'am, I ain't trying to, ain't nobody trying to get you on camera. I'm here for something else. I, I, I have nothing else to say to y'all, baby. My temper is, is a totally different mm -hmm. So I, I, we, we ain't got nothing else to say. Hey, sir, is everything okay? Yes, sir. We're allowed to be in here? Yeah, it's a public lobby. Why did the other guy flip out and touch me and grab me? He touched me. I, I, I can't explain that. Who, are, what? Are, you, are you one of the DAs? Yes, yeah, ma'am. I'm chief assistant. Oh, you're chief assistant. What's your name, sir? Jared. Big Jared. Oh, okay. Are you are are you the are you the DA? No, sir. I'm not the DA. How would I how would I press charges on him grabbing me? Uh, any kind of pressing of charges, uh, you need to go to an investigative agency like the Kenya Police, the Boyd County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, we make a make a report with them. They'll create a report. You can then take that to the uh, clerk's office. Do you know that he's not allowed to come out here in a public space for me merely existing in public with a camera and grabbing me I, and try to throw I, me I out of here? I don't know who it is or what happened, so what I can't really speak to any of that. Uh, all, all I can tell you is, again, he can't, I, he is can't that, do is that, that. Is that a conflict of interest if it comes back here to prosecute? Uh, it wouldn't come back to us if it's a member of, of our office. Like your staff? There's, you know, uh, I mean, I, again. Y'all got a freaking that. constitution on the wall. We, we and did. he acted that away. Why did he act that away? Again, I, I can't really tell you. I mean, I, I wasn't yeah, up here to see anything. I, was, yeah, I know you didn't see. I mean, yeah, they yeah. saw it, yeah, but yeah. he. I was over here doing pamphlet, like checking the stuff out. He yeah. come out here and, and grab my camera. I mean, I know we're where within our rights to do it because sure. the Morgan County Sheriff's Office. I mean, we had a great conversation yeah, out there. They don't yeah. violate the rights of the people, yeah, so I have a feeling that the DA's office does. So I'm going to do a maybe an investigation into this DA's office because the way that guy acted. And you said public records are downstairs? No, no, no. I, you have to report and they'll, no, no, no. they'll I, create that. If I were to do a, a, a public records request, I'd be a... Look at them scattering. Yeah, in the business clerk's office. Is that, is that how you so, Sometimes we've got an email address. It's morgan.da. Right. So, so, like, say, say I wanted somebody's disciplinary file or their pay stubs or names okay. and stuff well, like that. Ma'am, my name's Russ. Can I get your name, please? Right. So, that, your name, ma'am? Information, you guys obviously I'm sorry? have records here. Erica, Erica my name's Russ. Thank you so much. I appreciate any, it. Any information like It's not y'all's fault. It's that other guy's fault. He's setting y'all up for failure. Right. The guy that came out here and grabbed my camera and tried to... Or something like and yelling that. at me and stuff it's 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 not y'all's fault it's not y'all's fault right well, that he can't so control nothing himself that would be a subject to the open record oh no ma'am i don't want any candy right is that something i need to research before i said well i mean i guess my question oh if he needs to come in i'll get out of the way i'm not trying to interrupt the flow of business or anything well, who's your sheriff by the way yeah, ron puckett i'm not sure i give him a shout out and everything of, of, of what a great job y'all did for real across the street uh, second floor yeah actually you can hit They'll be outside here in a little while. They're doing a memorial out back. Is it B Morgan? Twenty-one guns, Morgan, 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 Morgan,
uh, for Memorial Day or something? Is it a Memorial Day thing? It's, yeah, that's coming up. It's just like a falling off from the one they do every year. Uh, oh, I might go back out there and see if I can, if I can get yeah, that. I think 930 has a hard draw and everything out there. Oh. You have a PIO there? No, not, not officially. Uh, the DA generally handles all of our public outreach in that way. Okay. But we do have a designated public information officer. All right, sounds good. Oh, Thank one you. other question, sir. Um, the other gentleman, and I don't think um, he came out here and he said, if I don't leave, he will have me arrested. So, again, why would be merely existing in a public space with a camera? He would want to throw me in a jail cell. I have no idea. I don't, yeah. I can't speak to that. Yeah. Uh, I can just he needs, he needs, is he an attorney? I don't know who he is. What's, Again, what I, was I his name? The older gentleman, right when y'all first got out. What was that guy's name? Because y'all were out here. I'm new. Um, I don't know that. Yeah, she just started. Really, yeah, really. Who was it that came out here? The guy that was out here, that, yeah, that, that, the, the first guy, the older okay. gentleman. Was he wearing glasses at the time? Mm -hmm. It wasn't, it wasn't. He had a jacket on. He's, he's our in-house investigator. Is he a DA? Is he? He's I mean, our, is he an attorney? Investigator. Oh, so he's law enforcement. Yes, he is. He's law. He's law enforcement, and he acted that way. Uh, uh, wow. I don't know what way it was, but anyway, I've, I've got to go down to court. Yeah, that's fine. I was me and I no, oh, no, no, no. Oh God, no. Yeah, don't yeah, get held in contempt. Yeah. Yeah, you, you handled it way better than he did. Yeah. Well, all right, good deal. Thank you. God bless. Right about center. Yeah, well, let's go check that. Y'all have a good day. God bless. Y'all have a good day. It's not y'all's fault. That guy needs to be fixed and put in check real quick, fast, and in a hurry. Well, now that we've seen what uh, these frauders call journalism, let's take a look at what uh, actual journalism is all about. The following video takes place in Seminole County, Florida, where a woman uh, decides to pour concrete down a drain pipe that's on her land because apparently she believed that nobody had permission to uh, add a drainage easement to her property. And guess what? It's causing problems for her uh, neighborhood, and the uh, county is... Uh, threatening to sue her over it. But first, Seminole County taking action after a pipe critical for drainage in a local community is purposely stopped up with concrete. Tonight, the neighbor who did it could be fined hundreds of dollars per day until it's fixed. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. We have been following this story for months now. Longwood's Shadow Bay community has been dealing with flooding issues ever since the pipe was closed off back in April. New 6's Treasure Roberts joins us now live in studio tonight with the update. Yes, yeah, Seminole County is now stepping in and holding that homeowner responsible. People who live in the community tell me they're happy something is finally being done. We, when we moved in here, we had no idea that this was going to be a problem, and now it's turned into a real nightmare. Flooded roads, even after regular rain, has become the norm for the Shadow Bay community. A huge inconvenience for homeowners like Jack and Sherry Graham, who says she can't even ride her bike in the street. I have to walk it down the pavement on the sidewalk until I get to where it's clear. But many in the community believe relief is on the way, since the homeowner they say caused the issue has been ordered to make it right. In April, the homeowner hired a crew to fill the stormwater pipe on her property with concrete. She believed her neighbors installed the drain pipe without her permission and asked for compensation. Wow, talk about misdirected anger. I mean, I doubt the neighbor would do this. It'd be more likely the city or the county trying to maintain property like that. I mean, trying to uh, take care of uh, water drainage issues. I mean, standard stuff for local government. I mean, uh, I guess this homeowner just uh, wasn't thinking too clearly or is just a complete psychopath. If they didn't comply, she threatened to close the pipe off, knowing it would cause water to back up on the roads. I think she's nuts. <laughs> well, I would echo that. After <laughs> numerous did. complaints, Seminole County sent the homeowner this notice of code violation, telling her to remove the concrete and repair the existing stormwater pipe by July 22nd. Neighbors say they hope she heeds that notice from the county so these now flood-prone roads can return to normal before a big storm comes. If she doesn't make the changes by deadline, code enforcement could fine her. Well, Treasurer, what's the fine going to be? Did they tell you? 
Yes, so it says that she could be charged $300 every day until that violation is fixed. Good, good. Well, I hope they dig, dig up her lawn. I hope they tear up everything <laughs> all the way down the line. I texted her asking if she saw the notice and if she plans to fix the issue before deadline. She saw my message but did not respond. Oh, what a nightmare for that community. And we're in our rainy season right now, and every time it rains, this is what happens. Truly a nightmare. I mean, that street was like a pond. We saw ducks like floating yeah. in the and, water. And it was basically like yeah. a culvert, like a big important pipe, and it's, she had somebody fill it with concrete. So exactly. Nothing's getting there. I guess the question is now, how are they going to get that out? Well, she's going to have to figure that, that out. That is mm -hmm. going to be expensive, I would imagine. Yeah, definitely. Thank Treasure you. Roberts, thank you. Now, Rusty Boy, do you see the difference between what actual journalism is versus whatever it is that you're doing? Uh, probably not. You'll probably never watch this video. The point is, these guys right here are professionals, and they went and found a story, they reported it, showed what the consequences of that particular action were for everybody around them, and showed what the remedies were that uh, the, the local government was trying to uh, get taken care of. And, uh, well, so far, nothing has happened. But maybe a little bit of peer pressure from her neighbors will convince her that she should never have done this to begin with. And she can get it fixed. But, of course, uh, that's just a pipe dream right there. Something tells me that this is going to go downhill within the next few months. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, I'm just like protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. Oh, no, I didn't it, you yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Sure. Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know, you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. <laughs> Thank you.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.